The Avenger of Blood by Susan Moody. There were two sons of Eshur at work in the field, and one to the other his passion revealed, as a white barley bowed to the stroke of a scythe, he burst out in accents extalking bliss. I have wooed a young maid, I have wooed and I have won, on a lovelier face never glanced yon bright sun. To the tall stately keller my love I compare, with her eyes shady glory, her long raven hair, and her bosom as white as the snow when it gleams on Lebanon's high, I wash down her streams. She has ravished and filled my rapt soul with delight. She is more dear to my heart than yon heavens to my sight. And who is the chosen? His comrade replied. Whilst the deepest of crimson his softly check died, his severed lips trembled, his eager eye fell with a glass on his kinsman that irked him to tell. This it was bright daughter. Her words were scared sad as the feet of his brother, young Simon, lay dead. It was but one blow on those temples of fear. On fierce cry of anger and jealous despair, and shuddering with horror, his stern rival stood, and gazed on those features disfigured with blood. Weep, fratricide, weep, tis in vain that you cast, your arms around but pale from, the struggle is past. Tis in vain with shielded heart to your bosom you pressed, its stillness increases your frantic distress. You have scattered the gems and youth's beautiful crowns, and his sun at midday has in darkness gone down. He never should bind for your thorns love a wreath, the hand of a bridegroom is stiffened in death. When dash from those white eyes the faster flowing tear, and fly of a city of refuge is near, there's a murmur of voices, a shout on the wind. Fly, fly, the avenger of blood is behind. He fled like an arrow, just launched from the bow, overwhelmed with remorse and distracted with foe. A victim of passion, he gladly give all, life's dearest enjoyments for the hour to call. The stain on his hands added wings to his flight, as onward he speed through the shadows of night, and a startled ear caught in a wind's fitful moan, as it swept through the forest a faint dying groan. The least rustling near sent a child to his heart, and off backward he glanced with an agnosing start. And felt in his throat parched and swollen with dread, the soul ring and grasp of a phantom like dead. But pang was the great for the sinner to bear, and his fierce found a voice in vile shrieks of despair. But the night and its long noon of horrors is past, a broad line of light on the blue hills is cast, and the city of refuge before him appears like a beacon of hope giving rest to his fears. But hark, the avenger of blood is at hand. Dost thou hear the loud shouts of his death-dooming band? The trembling of horses ring sharp on the breeze, and armor is glancing at times for the trees. On, on for the life, if they compass the plain. The sentence is sealed, and all risk is vain. He strains every nerve, he redoubles his speed, and strength is applied in the moment of need. The race is for life, and the city is won. Earth's broad towers reflect the first beam of the sun. One plant glass of triumph for fugitive through, and the band of pierces that burst on his view. A shock his clenched hand, and a trembless cry rose and died on his pale lips, a rough to defy. But the effort to mighty, a severed in train, his heart strings, he staggers and sinks to the plain. The cold dew that moistened the toil crimsoned face, till the death claims his victim, the prize of a race, that a city no refuge to guild can afford. He is found an avenger of blood and the Lord.